Have you ever wondered why and how your phone screen turns off when you place it over here during a call? Have you ever noticed how simpler robot-like line follower can detect and follow a line? These two questions may seem unrelated, but believe me, they both have the same answer. Hi everyone, I'm Pavish. Today we are going to be learning about the infrared proximity sensor, and this is Basics Explained. An infrared proximity sensor is a circuit designed to sense and respond to the change in proximity of an object in front of it with the help of infrared light. Now this is a basic version of the IR proximity sensor used by hobbies around the world. These sensors are cheap enough and have a simple build. It has a transmitter, a receiver, an op amp, a threshold tuner, the input power pins and the output signal pin. The transmitter is basically an infrared light emitting diode. It emits infrared light whenever the sensor is powered. The emitting light falls on objects in front of it just like when a flashlight is turned on. As we know, light falling on any object tends to reflect and that's how we are able to see that object. So, if there is any object in front of the infrared LED, then the light gets reflected and some of it comes back at the sensor. Closer the object, more the reflected infrared light. The receiver picks up the light that got reflected back. This receiver is an infrared photodiode that changes its conductivity in the reverse bias based on the amount of infrared light that falls on it. More the reflected infrared light, higher the voltage to the photodiode. The op amp, which is short for operational amplifier, is an integrated circuit designed for the purpose of amplifying and outputting the voltage difference between the two input pins. One of its input is a reference or threshold voltage set by the potentiometer and the other input is the voltage to the photodiode. When the voltage to the photodiode is lower than the set threshold voltage, then the op amp is set to output low signal. And if the voltage to the photodiode is equal or higher than the set threshold voltage, then it outputs a high signal. This digital high or low output signals can be used to actuate small relays and LEDs. Or they can be fed as input signals for a microcontroller which takes more complicated decisions on how to use this input. In smartphones, it can be an input for turning the screen off during a call. And in line followers, it can detect the presence of a black line which absorbs the IR light. Why infrared light? Our surrounding is filled with lots of visible colors. And choosing any one of those colors can confuse the sensor. The infrared light is just outside the visible light spectrum and it's near to the red color. This means it has a larger wavelength than the visible light spectrum and can travel a good distance without much scattering. Hence, it will be easier to sense. An interesting fact about the infrared light is that even though it is not visible to a human eye, it is visible to a camera. Like this white blinking dot near the phone's earpiece or a bright white light like this in an IR proximity sensor module. That is why IR LEDs are used for lighting in night vision cameras. Hope you have learned the basics of the IR proximity sensor. We'll meet again next time with another basic knowledge. Until then, like this video, subscribe to the channel and make sure to click the bell icon to get notified. This is Pavish signing off for Basic Explained. Thanks for watching.